super profit method of computing goodwill. Now we all know that whenever a person starts a business, he makes some investments into the business, right? Which is normally known as capital. With the passing of time, this capital is increased by the amounts of profits which are earned by the business at times which are transferred to the reserves also, right? When we take a sum of all these, we get the capital employed in a business. Capital employed basically can be computed in two manners, right? It can either be taken as a sum total of share capital plus free reserves minus fictitious asset. Fictitious asset is something like goodwill, preliminary expenses, right? And others. Or you can just compute the value of the net assets. When I say net asset, what do you mean? Net assets mean total assets on the balance sheet, right? Less total liabilities. And when I say liabilities, I mean third party liabilities. Even as I'm taking the value of the total assets, again, I need to exclude these goodwills or preliminary expenses, something like fictitious asset. Right? So whenever any kind of a capital is employed in the business, right, whether it is in the form of share capital, free reserves and all, or through this method, everyone wants to get some return out of it, right? So let's say if I invest 100,000 into a business, I expect that at least I should get a return of 15%. Right? Why? Because if I don't get 15%, I would rather go and invest this in some alternate mechanism, let's say fixed, uh, fixed deposits, which will give me 10%. Right? This normal return, which is expected from every business is known as normal return. Right? But what differentiates a successful business from a non-successful business is that in a successful business, normally this rate is more than 15%. So let's say it is 20%, right? Actual return. When the actual return in a business is higher than the normal return, which is accepted as a norm in the industry, we say that the business has the capability of making super profit. And what do you mean by super profit? Super profits are nothing but actual return minus the normal return. Such super profit in the super profit method are then multiplied by the number of years purchase to get the amount of goodwill, right? Your capital employed can be calculated by various means. It can even be taken as opening capital employed plus closing capital employed, right? And the sum of these two is divided by two, right? To get the average capital employed if that is not given to you. Once you have this, you compute the normal rate of return, which is, let's say 15% in this case, you see what are the actual returns that the business has earned, which is the actual profits. The difference between these two is the super profit or super loss. If there is super loss, obviously no goodwill. But if there is a super profit, you multiply it by the number of year of purchase to get the amount of goodwill. Right? We'll take a practical question on this in the next video. Thank you for being with us today.